So I eventually reached a point where I switched over to doing everything in Unity, and I'd like to show you um, what that looks like. So that is the, the latest, um, well, the latest, the current uh, position where I'm at. Uh, this is early March 2019, <clears throat> and I'm doing it all in Unity. There is uh, the software, and when you start it up, it gives you the screen, that resolution window, high play. And then I have everything in a 3D representation in here. That uh, looks pretty bare, um, but that's uh, just not that much implemented. And I can go like uh, open windows. I can drag them around, move them any way I like. And for example, here I say, OK, on this machine, or if it's not, then it's to please send it to that IP address, uh, localhost, start server. It's listening. And when I hit on fly, it realizes, I hope it does at least, oh, yeah, it's connected. And then the data uh, comes flying in. You can see the raw data here. You can uh, choose different modes that you want. Um, but right now, uh, Euler angles only is the only thing that I have implemented. And this is uh, what it looks like. So as you can see, um, all I have right now is a one-to-one -one representation of the aircraft or of the vehicle in uh, space. So. Um, this here, the, the plane that you're seeing is uh, just a placeholder, so that's supposed to be your upper platform. But for now, I just like to make sure that the exporting of the raw data is OK. So that's just a placeholder to show me something um, so that I can see that there is a res result. And these little boxes are just indicators to, that show me whether my low pass or high pass filters are working uh, the way they are supposed to work. So when I um, uh, push the throttle forward and the plane accelerates, you can see the green raw data jump up. The blue is the low pass value, the red is the high pass value. And if I pull the power back to idle, then you see the green reacts immediately. The, the blue one is low pass filtered and the red one is the high frequency content of that signal. So that's just a, um, a development tool that I'm using. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the current uh, position where I'm at. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change from this uh, Euler angles only into motion queuing. And I can write a little algorithm that moves my object. Well, that's the upper platform um, the way I want it to be moved um, and the way I code it uh, to be moved. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about the Unity engine and how I'm going to use that to, as a development tool. And it's quite interesting. Actually, I'm using it for something that it was never meant to do, but it uh, works quite nice. So I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.